Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. It's Lorraine here. Um, I'm just going to do a flip through of this beautiful vintage rose journal. I thought I'd done a video, but I haven't obviously because I'm having to redo it. But anyway, here it is. So she's quite a, a beautiful journal, three signatures sewn into it. It's got lace. Uh, this is a tuck spot so you can actually put something behind there. It doesn't have a closure so I've just used this royal ribbon just to keep it together. Um, she measures 15 by 23 centimetres which is 6 inches by about 8 is it? Oh 9 inches. 6 by 9 inches. Um, and she is, as you can see, quite a chunky monkey. She has three signatures sewn into this soft uh, cover. It's a cover I've made using um, an envelope. So it's quite flexible and it will open up flat when you need it to. So I've used papers from lots and lots of different places. This so I can see some my porch prints, some Artemis. Um, if I remember as I'm going through, I will tell you whose <coughs> digitals I've, I've used in this journal. So on the front cover, the cover's stitched around, it's covered with digital paper, is the envelope, and stitched in place, so it's not going to go anywhere. Sorry, I'm knocking the table. Um, it's got this lovely vintage lady with the rose hat on, so I've mirrored the roses with um, this fussy cut rose image and this um, rose applique. It's got some bits of lace on the front of the cover in different places. As I said at the back, um, I've left this uh, open so you can actually tuck something behind. You can put some note paper or a card or whatever you want just tucked in behind there. So we'll have a look inside and just make sure you're in frame. So inside front cover there's this double pocket. Um, inside of there is a tag. It's been stenciled on behind and stitched around and another one of the rose images in there. Here's a little cluster that I've made and tucked inside there is this rose tag. Um, journal card, um, both are from my porch prints collections for those. A little letter from me about this journal and what's involved in it. Um, digital paper, some stenciling in various colours on this page. Here I've embossed some cardstock and then distress inked and turned it into tuck pockets. So you've two journal cards in there. Most of the journal cards are backed um, and some are stitched, not all, not all. In the front there are this tag, another my porch prints one, um, and then this specimen card, I can't think what to call them, and it's got two vintage images in there and some of this lovely ribbon trim. And another little fussy cut there on the front of that pocket. Here I've made a tuck spot from some, uh, I don't know if that's mine or if that's a digital, I can't tell now. Some vintage, this is original vintage music paper that I've used and I've tagged this lady on the front of there and tucked behind there, this coffee stained paper behind is this uh, little note but some more of my porch prints paper, coffee stain paper, this is digital um, coffee stain paper. Here we've got a little journal card that's been stitched on and stenciled behind and this is an altered paper clip um, that I've made. You can journal on the back of there, you can journal on the front if you want. Tucked inside is this little piece of note paper so you've got some journaling space 
on there. It's got this bull pin with a, a stamp and some lace and some ribbon attached to it. There's quite a lot going on there in one paper clip. I'm just going to tuck her back inside there. Coffee stain paper. There is a lot of blank spaces in the journal for you to use as uh, journal space or you can add your own images, your own ephemera. Um, I've left, because when I have a journal, I like to be able to journal in it, so I assume that most people do too. Um, coffee stain and some more digital. This page I've just, um, I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but I've stamped on there, that's a Tim Holtz. Um, I can't remember what it's called, Reflections stamp. Um, a little ticket here, that's from Artie Mays. This is Artemis paper and rose, and inside there is a little seed packet. I'm not sure there's anything in like this. I put a little, oh, isn't that sweet? The Eiffel Tower with roses. Inside of there, this is, I um, can't remember the name. And another, and this actually is over the page, this sheet goes over the page of it over fussy cut butterfly with some bling and another one of the little notelets tucked inside there so you journaling space there and there another little fussy cut just to give that page extra interest uh, mirrored pockets on this center of the first signature and inside of there is a large tag loads of journaling space on the back of there and this beautiful image that's, again, it's been, um, I've covered it on the back with original coffee stain paper. And the same in here. This has got stenciling on. Some more of the My Porch prints and another lovely image. It's been stitched around. Um, this is um, a vintage book page that I've turned into a pocket, I've embossed it, I have what do you call it? gessoed this image on, on top uh, and behind this is a large tag, behind there is a little pocket with a tag inside and another one of those beautiful images stitched around and it's on sturdy cardstock. Here at the front of this pocket is a little tuck spot with, I've made from paper and a fussy cut butterfly and inside is journaling space. So, let's see if I can get it back in without, there we go, easy peasy. Here I've got a tuck belly band um, on the front of it is this pocket and inside is journaling paper inside there. Tucked behind the belly band is this beautiful image of mum and daughter and it's on cardstock journaling space behind and I just clip that in with this paper clip because otherwise it flips all over and it's just got some ribbon on that paper clip. Here's a busy pocket in it, or two. So the back pocket has this large journal card and this smaller one. So that tucks into the back pocket there. And then in the front pocket, two more. A little postcard from Paris and another marketing journal card. I haven't left that, I thought I'd left it as a tuck, but I haven't, it's st stuck down as that. Um, another pocket, using one of the images, I fussy cut this tag and butterfly, they're from Artemis, they're freebies from Artemis, and this tag, blank on the back, tucked into this pocket at the front, is another little miniature postcard, ideal for journaling on. Uh, here's... Um, Another Artemis, it's been stamped as this page behind, we're using the Tim Holtz stamp. And behind there is a journal card I've stenciled on the back of there. You can still journal over it. 
here we've got a pocket with a journal tag inside there. Another altered paper clip. There we go. So this has got the bulb pin on and on the bulb pin is this uh, tag with butterfly, fussy cut butterfly. It's got some frayed um, calico, some ribbon attached to it. And the paper clip is here. It's got these tags, some uh, collage paper and stamp. It's got some lace underneath. And inside of there is some note paper. A journal in space. I love these. I haven't made these for a little while. I think I'm. And on the back, it's just book page that I've used. I uh, can't remember whose tutorial I watched for that, but obviously there's a good one because I've been able to follow it easily. Okay. And then tucked at the back of there is another vintage lady image. Here I've done some stenciling around on this page and made a tuck spot out of this beautiful young lady's image and there's a cabinet card with a photo, vintage photo on there. Here we have um, this flip pocket. She's so got some lovely secret journaling space here. There's a pocket there with a little journaling paper in there and in there too. I don't think, oh I did leave it open so you can again tuck something behind if you choose to. So. Here's collaged pocket, I've used some um, it's the envelopes that you get. If you go to a restaurant, you know from fork and you serve it quite often inside of these. So I've used it, I brought it home and I've used it and turned it into a pocket. And here I've used some vintage book page, some vintage music paper and this lovely image uh, on the front tucked inside of there. At the back of there is this beautiful tag tucked at the back there and another journal card with stenciling on the back there and I think no there is nothing let me just do this I'm at the wrong angle for it I thought there might be something in there nope it's just the back of the envelope I covered it I can see the print and I've just covered the back of the envelope so no it's not so there's at the front here another tuck spot some more of the vintage digital pages, some more digital coffee dyed papers. This, I think, these are from um, Scrimpy Mummy, Crafting with Scrimpy Mummy, I think it's called. Um, she's very generous with freebies. And here we have this belly band. Again, the page has been um, stamped using the Tim Holtz stamp. We've got another one of the little tuck spots with the digital with the journal page inside, tucked inside there. And here we have um, an envelope. There's nothing inside there, but there's plenty of space for you to uh, put your own things in. Sorry, my fingers are full of blue. So Again, this paper is from the kit again, another lovely journal card, stitched and coffee stained paper behind it. Here we have another envelope um, that's held in with a paper clip. Again, I've stenciled on it but there's nothing in, it's empty for your own use. Another little cluster, again using the vintage music paper. Double pocket with 
tags um, inside. This one's just got this lovely little crocheted lace thing on there. Journal card. Book page collage on that one. A tag there. Another notelet there for journaling. Um, here I've done a vintage book page, again it's a French book that I've used from this page from and over it I've decoupaged a napkin um, to give me the pink flower theme and then a journal card here again with another one of the uh, little journal note papers inside there and another journal card again some more Tim Holtz stamping on there Here, another pocket. I love this key because oh, I'm nosy, I think, and I would like to know what's at the other side of it. And another large tag, postcard, and journal card. Just stenciled on that. Another pocket with uh, there's so much ephemera inside of here. Um, postcard, journal card, and this lovely vintage photo. That I've put onto cardstock. That's the second signature and then the third and here I held in with this paper clip I've done this lovely lovely um, tucked tuck spot and inside it doesn't want to come out, it doesn't want to come out. It never want to come out when it's on camera. Inside I don't pull it on camera. This is a note. It's coming. There we go. That took some doing. Inside, I've put these butterflies so that you can see them through the window, and there's journal space inside. So it's got um, acetate. I know it said acetone. Acetate inside, and back in it goes. There and then the ribbon comes tucking out at the top. It's just a journal card. Another tuck spot here that I've used. Um, there's a, you know, there's a bookmark or journal notebook image again, and more butterfly with the bling postcard tucked behind lots and lots and lots of journal space some more stenciling on that page here we've got um, this is a from Artie Mays I believe and I've turned it into a tuck spot and behind is one of the large journal cards and there it is and on the front here there's some lace and a fussy cut Rose. Here I've done some gesso on this page, just for a bit of interest. Another double pocket in the centre there. Inside is this beautiful collage tag. And another little envelope, a seed envelope. And inside there is this little journal card. And here again, another collaged tech card and another oh two things in there another keyhole and vintage photo some more gessoing on that page and the pocket with a tag that I've just used some cardstock stitched around Stenciled, it's got this lace tab on the top, a coffee dyed paper on the back, and a postcard. I've put a stamp on the front of that postcard. Here we have another little tuck spot, and behind there is a journal card, and another journal card with the keys for all the keyholes I've put in. This is a 
chalk spot behind here and it's got tip there. an envelope tucked inside, stencil inside and it just tucks inside there and this journal card just behind and it's held in place with a paper clip. Some more stenciling. I've turned a large journal tag into a tuck spot so you've got a card just tucked away in there. Some more gesso on this page and then on the here we've got two pockets here. I have just um, distress inked around the edges of this torn paper. In the top pocket is this lovely cabinet card journal space. In we go. A calendar from 1916 and another lovely photo image stenciled on the back. Don't go all the way. And then here at the front we've got another postcard with coffee dyed paper behind. Another postcard. And there's Rose again. Miss Lily Elsie she's called according to this photograph. And there's some more stenciling on the back. This pocket's a tuck. Uh, Okay, and inside is a postcard stenciled on the back just for a little bit of interest. This journal card and another journal card in there. Here at the back with another large tuck spot, so there's nothing in but obviously it fits in quite a chunky lot of it. So that's her. That's the vintage rose journal. Now I am going to be putting this both in the Etsy shop and on my coffee shop um, so if you want to have a look there there's a link a link below that will, should take you to either of those two. So she's going to go in but also what I've, I've done is I've relisted lots of journals. Some have been on Etsy before and some haven't because I have to make some space then I can keep crafting because I'm running out of space I've made that many journals just because I love doing it so much so in my Etsy and on my coffee shop there will be a sale of um, old and newer journals um, in order to make space to make some new things for the coming Christmas season so thank you for watching if you've stuck with me for this 23 minutes thank you so much and have a blessed day bye